Hello everyone, welcome back to Business School 101. Have you ever wondered how businesses manage their financial obligations? How do companies finance their operations and track what they owe? The answer lies in an essential accounting concept called liabilities. But what exactly are the liabilities? How are liabilities classified and calculated? And why are they so important in financial accounting? In this video, I will explore these questions with you. Section 1, Definition. In accounting, a liability is defined as a company's financial obligation that arises from past transactions and requires future payment or service. Liabilities are essential for funding business operations and expansion, but they also represent a financial risk that must be carefully managed. To qualify as a liability, an obligation must meet three conditions. First, past transaction or event, the liability must arise from a past event or transaction, such as borrowing money or receiving goods on credit. Second, present obligation, the company must have a legal or contractual obligation to pay. Third, future payment or service, the liability must result in a future outflow of cash, goods, or services. For example, a retail company may take out a loan to open new stores, purchase inventory on credit, or owe wages to employees. All these obligations are considered liabilities because they require future payment. Section 2. Classifications. Liabilities can be classified based on their due date and nature. The most common classification is based on short-term versus long-term obligations. Type 1. Current liabilities. Current liabilities are financial obligations that must be settled within one year. These liabilities impact a company's short-term financial health and liquidity. Examples of current liabilities include the following, accounts payable, which refer money owed to suppliers for goods or services purchased on credit. Short-term loans and notes payable, which refer borrowings that must be repaid within a year. Wages payable, which refer salaries and wages owed to employees but not yet paid. Taxes payable, which refer income taxes, sales taxes, and payroll taxes that are owed to the government. Unearned revenue, it means advance payments received from customers for goods or services yet to be delivered, such as prepaid subscriptions. For example, imagine a restaurant chain that orders fresh produce from suppliers on credit. The money owed to suppliers for these ingredients is recorded as accounts payable, a current liability. Since the restaurant must pay the supplier within 30 days, this obligation is considered short-term. Type 2. Non-current liabilities. Non-current liabilities are financial obligations that extend beyond one year. These liabilities are crucial for financing long-term investments and business expansion. Examples of non-current liabilities include the following, long-term loans and bonds payable, which refer money borrowed for expansion or large capital projects, payable over several years. Lease liabilities, which refer long-term rental agreements for property or equipment. Deferred tax liabilities, which refer taxes owed but deferred to future periods due to timing differences in tax reporting. Pension obligations, which refer future payments to employees for retirement benefits. For example, a technology company may take out a five-year bank loan to build a new headquarters. This loan is classified as a non-current liability because it will be repaid over multiple years. The company records it on the balance sheet and pays interest on the outstanding balance. Section 3, Self-Test Scenarios. Now, let's practice applying the concept of liabilities with real-world scenarios. I will present a series of situations, and for each one, determine whether it qualifies as a liability. Feel free to pause the video and think before I reveal the answers. Let's begin. Scenario 1, Orion Manufacturing receives $250,000 worth of raw materials from a supplier and agrees to pay within 45 days. Answer, this is a liability called accounts payable, current liability. Orion Manufacturing has received materials necessary for production, creating a present obligation to pay the supplier. The transaction meets all liability criteria a past event, receiving materials, a present obligation, to pay within 45 days, and a measurable amount, $250,000 from the invoice. Since payment is due within a year, this is classified as a current liability. Scenario 2, based on this quarter's operations, Orion Manufacturing estimates that it owes $2.5 million in taxes to the IRS. Answer, this is a liability called income tax payable, current liability. Even though there was no direct transaction, the company operated its business and generated taxable income, which creates a legal obligation to pay taxes. The company estimates the amount based on tax regulations and past financial records. 
While the exact amount may change upon filing, accounting principles require companies to report estimated tax liabilities to present an accurate financial picture. Scenario 3, Orion Manufacturing signs a four-year, $100 million contract to hire a new CEO, starting next month. Answer, this is not a liability. Although the company has committed to paying the CEO in the future, no obligation exists yet because the CEO has not started working. Under accounting rules, a liability arises only when a company has received benefits. Since the CEO has not yet provided any services, the company has no current obligation. Even after the CEO starts, the company will record only earned salaries as liabilities, not the full contract amount. Future uncertainties, such as resignation or contract modifications, also prevent it from being recorded as a liability. Scenario 4, Orion Manufacturing has not yet paid its employees for the most recent pay period, and the total unpaid wages amount to $900,000. Answer, this is a liability called salaries payable, current liability. Since employees have already worked and provided services, the company has a present obligation to pay them. The amount owed is known, $900,000 from payroll records, and the company will settle it soon. Because salaries are usually paid within weeks, this qualifies as a short-term liability. Unlike the CEO's contract, this situation meets the liability criteria because employees have already performed their work. Scenario 5, Orion Manufacturing borrows $600,000 from a bank on a one-year loan with a 9% interest rate. Answer, this is a liability called notes payable, current liability. The company has received the benefit of $600,000 in cash, creating a legal obligation to repay the loan. The amount is clearly defined, and repayment is due within a year, making it a short-term liability. However, the interest on the loan is not yet a liability. Interest becomes a liability only as it accrues over time. Right now, the company could repay the principal immediately without additional charges. Scenario 6, Orion Manufacturing is sued by customers claiming its products were defective, and the lawsuit seeks $5 million in damages. Answer, this is not a liability. While the company may eventually have to pay damages, no definite obligation exists yet. A lawsuit outcome is uncertain, Orion could win the case, settle for a lower amount, or lose entirely. Liabilities require a measurable and probable obligation, which is not the case here. Until the lawsuit reaches a settlement or verdict, the company does not need to record a liability on its balance sheet. Section 4. Why are liabilities important? Liabilities play a critical role in a company's financial management for the following reasons. Number 1. Liquidity. Businesses must carefully manage current liabilities to ensure they can meet short-term financial obligations. Companies with too many short-term debts and not enough liquid assets may struggle to pay bills and employees. For example, a retail business must ensure it has enough cash flow to pay its suppliers, rent, and payroll obligations. Investors and creditors examine a company's current ratio and quick ratio to evaluate liquidity risk. Number 2. Profitability. While liabilities help businesses finance expansion, they also come with interest costs. Companies must ensure that their debt is used effectively to generate profits. For instance, an airline company that finances new aircraft with loans expects to increase revenue through more flight capacity. However, if demand falls, the airline may struggle to repay the debt, affecting profitability. Number 3. Solvency. Solvency refers to a company's ability to meet long-term obligations. If a business has too much debt compared to its assets, it may risk bankruptcy. For example, during the 2008 financial crisis, many companies with high debt-to-equity ratios collapsed because they could not meet their loan obligations. Businesses must balance debt financing with equity financing to ensure long-term sustainability. Section 5. Conclusion. In summary, liabilities represent what a company owes to others, and they can be classified into two broad categories, current liabilities, they include short-term obligations like accounts payable, wages payable, and short-term loans. Non-current liabilities, they include long-term obligations like bonds payable, lease obligations, and pension liabilities. Liabilities are necessary for business operations, but managing them effectively is crucial for maintaining liquidity, profitability, and solvency. Whether you are running a business, analyzing a company, or investing in stocks, understanding liabilities helps you assess financial risk and stability. That wraps up today's lesson. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.